hey y'all welcome back if you guys are new here welcome to my channel so for today's video i'm going to be showing you guys how to use a eyeshadow palette and you might think like brianna we know how to use an eyeshadow palette all you do is take your brush and dip it in the eyeshadow and put it on your eyeballs it sounds simple but the way that i'm talking about is going to be very helpful for anybody that gets overwhelmed with using eyeshadows and anybody that is a beginner just want to see how to use a eyeshadow palette just keep on watching So I went through my eyeshadow palette collection and I picked out several palettes that I want to use for today's video as a example so you guys can understand the concept of using an eyeshadow palette. I have two different techniques that I want to share here with you guys. Very simple for anybody or for beginners. I see that a lot of women struggle with using eyeshadow palettes because one of them being they get overwhelmed because either the palette has way too many colors in there and they don't know where to start. They don't know which color to start with. And it can be overwhelming and I can totally get that. And then the second reason can be eyeshadows can be just all scattered all over the place. And it doesn't really look cohesive. So once again, you just don't know where to start. So in today's video, I'm going to show you guys two techniques how you can use an eyeshadow palette. I will be doing another video showing you guys how to come up with creative eyeshadow looks creative color combinations i was going to combine the two i wanted to demo how to create color combinations so that's why i separated the two so you guys can get the gist of how to use that palette and then how to use the colors actually in the palette to create a look so be on the lookout for the video and make sure you guys subscribe if you want to see how to come up with creative eyeshadow looks and put colors together so you have palettes that range from anywhere from four eyeshadows to maybe like 30 eyeshadows and up there are palettes that have a hundred eyeshadows in there that's absolutely ridiculous i know that's a lot and i personally don't want to deal with a palette that with that many shadows so anything 30 shadows and up is a lot if you don't want to get overwhelmed with using eyeshadow palettes i recommend to start off with palettes that have shades like four eyeshadows or nine pan palettes nine pan palettes are your best friend if you are a beginner because nine pan palettes are basically straight to the point i just like i said i pull these palettes out to use as a example it's straight to the point you can either use the palette going across up or down however and it's not overwhelming at all so if you're a beginner i recommend to kind of start off with something a little bit smaller with shadows that have four pans in it such as the elf bite size palette so which i will have a picture up here and then you have brands like juvia's place where they have these hair palettes these are nine pan palettes as well but as you guys can see this palette is a little bit bigger than the morphe palette that i just shared with you guys this palette here has bigger pan sizes and i feel like this is really really good for beginners but this one I like how big the pan sizes are once again this is self-explanatory this is an all matte palette I like how jumbo it is and I feel like you can see what you're working with it's not overwhelming it's perfect really no technique that you can use with that I mean it's only nine shades so you shouldn't get overwhelmed pulled out a morphe palette now the reason why I pull out a morphe palette because most palettes not all palettes, but most palettes that are in this here format. Brands like ColourPop, they have their own version, whatever the case may be. So this format is mostly where it's more than one, more than 20 shades, and they're more like so in pan, like circle pans. So I'm gonna show you guys two ways you can use eyeshadow palettes that have 20 shades and up super easy super simple so the first technique you can use when you're using palettes that's in this format i like to call this technique the crossword puzzle technique this might be a little extra but like i said for beginners this would be so helpful you want to take like a eyeliner pencil whether it's white or nude i do have a white one but i can't find it so i'm going to use my nude one but we all have done a crossword puzzle plenty of times in our life or a word puzzle you're going to take your pencil and you want to use a lighter pencil so you can get the gist of what you're um, doing with the palette so what you're going to do is you're going to think of this format as a word puzzle so i'm going to take my pencil and i'm just going to lightly act as if
like I'm circling the word you know what I mean and what this is going to do is basically allow you to only work with those shades you see what I'm saying you can either go across and just pick out a few shades like that you can go down this would be so helpful for anybody that's starting off using eyeshadows this can be overwhelming for somebody for somebody that has started all these shades in here like it's so many different browns you don't know where to start this is totally up to you how you want to use this technique but this is a good way to just basically kind of break the palette down even more. All you're doing is focusing on that one area that you circle. If you find that opening this palette like, oh my God, I don't know where to start. Take your eyeliner and kind of like, okay, I'm just going to work on this side of the palette. I'm going to work on these colors and just kind of bounce around this palette when I get tired of this here row. So this is a good technique, the crossword puzzle technique. Just taking your eyeliner pencil and just basically circling as many colors as you want to. And it, it literally looks like a crossword puzzle, word puzzle, whatever you want to call it. So the reason for that technique is to basically only focus on that area of the palette. Whether you're only circling four colors, six shades, five shades, you're only focusing on that color on the palette. And that's going to allow you to basically help you move around the palette, um, get used to colors that you never used before instead of just reaching for those browns and, you know, colors that you're used to using. You want to step outside your box. The second technique that you guys can use, I like to call this break up the makeup. So using the same palette, the Morphe palette, like I said, there's tons of palettes that's in this format. So use the same technique. It, don't, it doesn't just have to be with Morphe. Use the same technique with other palettes and other styles or formats. Basically, all you're doing, this is the most common. I know you guys probably have heard of this before, but this is the most common technique that is helpful. What you want to do is you want to take this palette and you want to break this palette down into smaller palettes. So visually, you want to, you want to either cover it up or take your eyeliner and just section the palette off. If you want to take the technique of using your eyeliner and just, you know, squaring off the look like this here. Like I said, this right here is a palette. See how I squared that off? That's all you're doing. This right here can be a look. You see how I squared that off? That will help you so much visually and breaking down the palette. So you got two options. You can do the crossword puzzle where you can go down, across, however many shades you want to be in that row, or you can square off the palette such as I did. So once you get used to doing that, you should be a pro with opening up bigger palettes and just knowing how to just maneuver around the palette. And then last but not least, you have companies that will intentionally place the colors. They will lay the colors out intentionally on purpose for you to create a look. They already created the look for you. All you have to do is apply it on your eyes. The Juvia's Place Culture Palette, they already have the colors laid out for you and they have it going down in a row. You can automatically see it. When you open the palette, you can see it. So this is the orange row. You got green, you got your nice pinks, you got your neutrals with like a little pop of color, you got your blues and your purples. So you're gonna have brands where you don't have to think about it, where you don't have to break the palette down into different sections, where you have to do the crossword puzzle technique. You're gonna have palettes where you don't have to do that because you got certain brands that intentionally lay the colors out for you on purpose so you can create a look. Even if the brand does that for you still want to like branch out and put colors together once again that's where color combination comes in 
and there's no rules to color combination you could put any colors together the main focus is blending the colors together you want to make sure you're blending all you got to do is just pay attention you open the pattern like oh these colors are kind of together they kind of they coordinate okay so these coordinate then you have palettes where they're nine pin palettes where they're small they're not overwhelming then you have palettes like morphe in the morphe format where you have like 30 to 35 shades basically break that palette down into smaller palettes or just to visually cover the palette, whatever you need to do so you don't feel overwhelmed. If you find yourself getting overwhelmed with using palettes that are 20 shades and up, I recommend don't buy them. <laughs> don't buy them or you're just gonna be wasting your money. I recommend to just stick with the nine pan palettes. And yeah, that is basically, that's the technique that I wanted to share with you guys. It's super simple, it's super, super, super easy. I really hope that this was helpful for any beginners. I hope it helped you visually. Once again, I will be doing a separate video because I want to demo on my eyes how to come up with color combinations. I think that video would be fun to do. But it's really simple. It's really not that hard. Um, and I just want to share that with you guys. So I hope this video was helpful. If you guys are new here, make sure you guys comment down below and chime in. Let me know what other ways you use palettes. Let me know um, or let everybody, let us all know like what techniques that you use that helps you when it comes to using bigger palettes. Make sure you guys subscribe if you like what you see and I will talk to you guys in a new video. Bye!